The U.S. Army has currently set up military roadblocks all across a city defense. This is due to the presence of a new threat. The Clone Trooper Grand Army of the Republic is now invading Earth, and the U.S. Army has to stop it. What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily here, and today we're back with two mods. We've got the Gates of Hell Galaxy at War mod, and I've combined it with the Modern Conflict mod as well. So, we therefore have the US Army fighting against the Republic. Yeah, pretty crazy stuff. The mods weirdly actually work together, which is very, very nice and very fun. Uh, and I'm super excited for this. So, we do have an LAV for the US over here, as well as one Browning machine gun over this way. Uh, then back here, they have a Humvee with an MK-19 grenade launcher and an M1A1. As for the Star Wars army, they have two TX-130s and a whole lot of clone troopers ready to go. It should be awesome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on. We're working our way towards 600k subs, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more of this series in the future. Either way, let's get it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Meta War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Right then gamers, let's go in slow-mo here and press start and watch as the US Army engages with the Grand Army of the Republic for the very first si time and we do have some bullets impacting the clones and actually it manages to clip a number of them there getting some kills but the Star Wars armies do begin to open fire against the US Army here and it is an absolute slaughter fest and there goes some of those rockets from the TX-130s and they even blow up the LAV right off the rip this is pandemonium oh my goodness instant destruction all over the battlefield no one is escaping that my god man the browning already is damaged and the gunner has popped off of it uh we've got a sniper over here just trying to maybe get some cover or something like that get some shots off but he is unable by the sheer amount of star wars suppression here this is a devastating level of violence going on oh my goodness the u.s army cannot handle the clone trooper army invasion right now this is deadly 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 all right and the clones i mean they took some oh they took some serious losses actually their front lines got torn to shreds however the back line's still very much so alive and i would say their retaliation for that uh u.s army opening right there was absolute and now the u.s army is uh backtracked over here uh towards their little side street over this way where they're going to hopefully defend for a little bit longer uh because that was an absolute destruction fest that was insane oh another trooper going down right there yikes oh, the u.s army is seriously struggling is there anyone alive on the left yeah there's a couple troopers i would not want to be these guys right now that's for sure oh some more rocket shots from the uh, clone army right there, blowing up some vehicles and uh, taking a few more U.S. troopers with them. Oh, those poor soldiers, man. Oh, my God. I normally love the clone army, but we got to root for our home team of Earth here. And that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, God, I, I hope they can pull through. Uh, there's also the CIS army in this mod, uh, you know, the battle droid army. Uh, and then for the modern conflict mod, there's also the Russians and a few more, I believe. I can't remember exactly, uh, but I'll let you guys know in the next video. Um, because I'm sure we can, uh, you know, splice in some more conflict here. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, either way, the U.S. Army is currently just getting absolutely slaughtered, having a real tough time. Why don't we go ahead and bump it up to normal speed here. Uh, as some sniper shots from the clones come in, uh, they're getting a few hits here and there, but not doing anything crazy. And there we go, a headshot against that guy. Ends up taking him down. I am uh, wondering how the M1 Abrams will end up performing here, because that thing could be a game changer. Uh, the TXs right now are just kind of chilling in the back. They can move forward at their own discretion, 
They're on free move mode, so maybe they'll come forward in a bit and continue to help out. Uh, but either way, I mean, those rockets from those things absolutely devastated the U.S. Army right off the rip. I wouldn't be surprised if it just rounded the corner and one-tapped that M1 Abrams. Those seem extremely powerful. Um, okay, one of them is moving out now. Seems to be going down this way. Uh, it's definitely not going to fit down those alleyways, so... I don't know what exactly its plan is, <laughs> and we'll, we'll just have to see. The U.S. Army is basically just taking cover behind these trucks. This guy is somehow inside the truck. He has morphed out of the truck. <laughs> Extremely impressive. Oh, a number of clones pushing this position. This guy's taking out a grenade. He could get some kills here. Oh, clones grenade. He grenades as well. All right, thermal detonator versus <laughs> pineapple grenade, and everyone's dead. No one survives. Oh, that guy actually did survive. My goodness. Okay, uh, and these TXs are coming through here. Don't fall down the subway. That might not be a good thing. Alrighty then. <laughs> wow. We have a lot going on in this battle, man. A lot is happening. Okay, they've, they've got decent cover, the clones. They can easily push around and fire as they go. Um, or they could just yeet on through like those guys did and die. Ooh, what's on the menu today? I cannot read that in the slightest. Very nice. There's this little narrow gap right here that US troopers are firing down and managing to clap clones. I have to say, there's something really cool looking about a bullet going into clone armor. I... That might sound weird, but like, it, it, it's very satisfying since usually Star Wars shots are just very like, get hit, like, meow. But like, this is like a hard impact. Okay, that guy finally gets sniped. I feel like he got a lot of kills there. Oh, this guy's got a grenade. He yotes it out there. That could be huge. He decides to throw himself into the ring there, too. His grenade doesn't do too much. Clone grenade ends up tossing around all these vehicles yet again. Wow, it is now turning into a bit of a clone trooper slaughter fest over here. Wow. TXs are, like, stuck over this way. Should I unstick them so we get some tank battling going on here, too? I'll unstick one of them. Oh, we do have clones, like, way over this way. Is this thing, like, totally kaputs? I, I can't tell. It might be totally stuck. We'll do the other one. Um, yeah, clones are all the way out here, and they are getting clapped by sniper marksman fire. Um, they did kill the rest of the U.S. Army over here, but in doing so, it took some losses. Now they're just sort of hiding behind debris, trying to, trying to stay out of the way. Oh, the other TX managed to unstick itself there, too, so maybe we'll get some more uh, tank combat going on here. U.S. Army back this way. I mean, they're still taking a few losses, but it seems like they've locked down this little choke point corner here and managed to kill a lot of clone troopers in the process, and that's giving them the current advantage at the moment. Oh! Oh, jeez, more death. Here comes the TX. It's facing the wrong way. Son, what are you doing? You drive in the wrong direction, buddy. I'm wondering if maybe the Humvees got some kills too. Let's let's check it out actually currently. Um, the Abrams has four kills, probably from the 50 cal, and it looks like actually the Humvee ended up going down at some point. I did not even notice that thing going down. Yes, wow. This guy's got three kills. Very this guy's sure. got none. This guy's got one. This guy's got one. This guy's got none. Uh, this guy here has six, and this guy has one. Oh, there is one dude over here. What are you doing? He's stuck in the truck. Get free, my friend. Oh. And he is dead. Dude, these TXs are doing absolutely nothing for the Republic. <laughs> They're doing absolutely nothing. My god. Let's check out the losses thus far. Yellow are dead. U.S. Army troopers. Red are dead clone troopers. Both sides taking extreme losses, but I will say, I think at this point, over here, the clone troopers have lost significantly more. I want to see some tank combat, bro. I desperately want to see some tank combat. I'm just gonna... I just want to see how an M1 Abrams deals with the TX-130. So we're going to just bring it around this way. All right. Let's see. M1 Abrams versus TX-130. Clone troopers also moving in to assist with the infantry. Um, there's some explosions going off. This thing is still not even facing the Abrams. There we go. Oh! Abrams takes a gnarly shot eviscerate some of the armor there look at that that penetration must have been nuts and it killed all of the crew members inside the tx-130 my god we got one more tx-130 that could potentially be used here the rest of these clone troopers are really probably uh 
little bit scared at this point. I mean, they're not doing too hot. There's still quite a number of them. All right, they're pushing in simultaneously with the TX. The TX gets sniped by the Abrams in the back there again, and the crew ends up bailing out, and that guy gets sniped as he bails out, and the Abrams hits it with a second Dunkaroo right there. You still just don't mess with the Abrams, do ya? My god! Okie dokie, wow, so the TX's were amazing at the very start, they absolutely toasted that LAV right there, but when it came to the Abrams, they were absolutely no match at all, holy cow. Alright, well, the clones are moving in again, oh, they're really going, look at them go, holy cow. Um, and they are just getting absolutely slaughtered right here. Honestly, it seems like the US Army and the Clone Trooper Army are somewhat even? I would say in this battle there no one's really taking a massive lead or anything along those lines um it does just seem that currently the clones are struggling due to this choke point right here and the fact that the u.s army is just lined up behind it um that seems to be the main problem going on more clones trying to push through trying to get some some sort of ground behind them but just failing to do so there's still one clone way back here too all right why don't we do a final yeet all right, clones, run on up there. Let's see this. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Instantly clapped left and right and <laughs> absolutely destroyed. Insanity. Either way, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. But wait, there's a little bit more. I've decided to line up the clones just straight against the street. So it's a little bit more even here with the US Army versus the Clone Trooper Army. Just going head to head purely. No choke point involved or anything like that. Uh, the US Army still does get that defender's advantage, but the Clone Trooper Army at the very least uh, isn't around the corner to them. The LAV goes down extremely quickly. Once again, it seems like some clone rockets are going to do some damage. That might be gunning for the Abrams, which is... Wow, what a, what a shot! Was that on purpose? Not entirely sure, but it did kill the top gunner at the very least. Don't know if it did much else. Um, wow, entire waves of US soldiers dying on the ground there. The Abram, or sorry, the Humvee is on fire currently, and that might result in this thing going kablooey. Yes sir, oh yeah, these guys are bailing out before it does explode. These guys all managed to get back up. Looks like they were just concussed or something like that. It is very, very chaotic for the US lines. Most pieces of cover are going down very quickly. Uh, meanwhile, for the clones, lots and lots of deaths too. Um, it seems like their vehicles... Oh, one of them is still alive. The other is completely kaputz. Let's go ahead and go into normal speed here and let these two factions just absolutely meat grinder it out. Uh, the Abrams way back there, still alive, still kicking. Still managing to get some pretty crazy kills, so that is rough. Either way, I, I hope you, some people stick around for this secondary battle. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you did, uh, and which you liked better, the first battle or the second battle. Um, I, I'm, I'm still liking the first battle better. It, it was definitely a little bit more... Um, normal <laughs> you know like clones actually have a landing zone and then they're going up against defenses bit by bit and stuff like that it was a bit more of a coherent storyline battle uh whereas this is just more for fun you know sending boys to the slaughter all right why don't we go ahead and slow-mo here and just yeet the clones forward uh give them one just solid try at a full push forward here uh one attempt at just passing through the meat grinder potentially successfully and we'll see how this goes See how this goes, boys, because there's a lot of clones coming on up right now, really quick. All right, go, 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 boys. Let's see it. Oh, some more rockets going out against the Abrams out there. That actually might have destroyed its turret. It, well, it's tracked at the very least. That's good to see. Yeah, the U.S. Army is absolutely butchering these clones still. The clones aren't even able to take, like, much of a step forward without getting blasted. And uh, this is probably going to be Jover uh, for <laughs> the Grand Army of the Republic. I can't tell if the U.S. Army is stronger or if it's uh, Defender's Advantage or, you know, what's going on. But if you guys would like to see some more Star Wars versus Earth, let me know and I can do some more in the future. Either way, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.